Hello and welcome back to the Fodor player career mode. In the last episode, we unfortunately got knocked out of the Champions League as we lost 2-1 in aggregate to Barcelona. But we do comfortably lead the Serie A as we are 17 points clear with 7 games remaining. But the big game of today is the two-legged tie away and home to Inter Milan in the Coppa Italia semi-final. And of course, we're kicking off this episode with the big game at the San Siro. We need a positive result here. Last time we played Inter, we got a draw, but they fucking battered us. So we need a good performance tonight. Lovely play. Oh, the Georgian's still going. He's still going. No, that passed me was ass, bro. What the fuck was that? Oh, really nice play. That was not to you. That was to Lobotica. And to me, Declan. Fodor from distance. That is not even the right side of the goal, fella. Nice ball. Fodor could be in behind. Lovely first touch. It's Fodor. No. Ah, he's taking me out, mate. What was that? And that's half time. Nil all. It's been a shit game, to be honest. Nothing's really happened. Nice ball. The Georgian. Fodor's away here. Oh, my God. Who? Like, Skrinja is not that fast, bro. I can tell you right now he's got not, not got 90 pace. Tear right now. That is bullshit. Nice ball. One more. Fodor! That is the worst shot on the planet! Oh my god, that was ass. Lobotka, are you re- Brother, this guy pisses me off, man. Why are you shooting from there? You think it for a lovely ball. That's a good ball. Fodor just doesn't want to shoot! The Georgian doesn't want to shoot! Fodor doesn't want to shoot! Fodor, shoot! Someone shoot! Shoot! I'm about to complain! Oh my god, how have we not scored? Oh my lord almighty. Oh my god. Nothing, nothing fucking like EAFC when the ball's deflected off the keeper straight to Fodor, straight to his head. What does he do? I wonder. I wonder what he does. He takes a fucking touch. Like, what if. Was it even a touch? Or did the ball go for his fucking cranium? Oh, this game's ass, bro. So he has tried to hit her it in. I mean, that's a positive, I guess. He's tried to hit her it in, but the ball decided, no, I'll just go inside your fucking brain, mate. Yeah, no, this game's awesome. No, I love it. That's a dangerous ball. Into Milan with a chance. No way. What a save! What a save in the last embers! Oh, my God. They nearly fucking stole that. And that's full time. Nilo, we should have won this game. Keeper saved our ass in the last second, but we should have won this game, man. This bullshit. Now we are going to skim through the next few matches as we host a solo. We ran through one-on-one -on -one with a tight angle only for the keeper to make a ridiculous save. And into the second half, we tried it again from the same angle only for the keeper to save it again. Only 10 minutes after that, we had a free kick and the keeper was just simply taking the piss as he comfortably caught it. And that was it. We utterly dominated, but the keeper was simply unplayable. We then hosted Torino, and only four minutes in, we came so close to opening the scoring with the keeper making a great save. We were then played in by Oshim, and we took a touch and slotted it away. Not as the keeper makes another outstanding save. And only minutes later, we played a ball into the middle, and he saved it again. Who are we playing against? And then we went in behind again, and the keeper saved it again. I am simply lost for words at this point. And it only gets better from here as we see our free kick cannon off the post. It really isn't going our way. And again, we race through, and we manage to hit the post again. It is unbelievable how we have not scored. With only minutes remaining, we got on the end of a cross for the keeper to save it again. And that was full time as we drew nil all, as we had to deal with the most insane keeper performance I've ever seen. And to top it off, the keeper managed to play a perfect 10.0 game. Absolutely brilliant. So it turns out we won the league in the last game when we drew nil all, uh, as Inter drew as well. So, we won the league. Hey. So we're going to be completely rested now, as there's no point playing uh, for this game. We got into in a couple days. We won 1-0. Well, at least someone could score. Fucking bullshit, mate. The shit I've been dealing with in the net. All right, here we are for the second leg of the Coppa Italia. Nil all first leg. It's time to win. We should have won the first leg, but it is what it is. It's time to cook. We should be bloody... Well, I should have about six goals this episode. I'm actually pissed. Step across. Oh, my God. How has that gone through? What a save! What the fuck? Oh, my God. This fucking 68 cunt is so stupid. Just clear the ball, man. Rice, play me. Nice. Nice. Yes! 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 We got a bit of luck. We got a bit of luck. I wanted to chip him, and then I was like, he's not going to go to ground, so I tried to place it. 
And we got the rebound, and finally, we fucking score this episode. Into you. Nice ball. Oh, it's not to me. What are you doing? What are you actually doing? You're showboating. It's only 1-0. Oh, Georgian. Oh, he scored. It's 2. It's a Milano in the mud. Come on. It's 2-0. And my... Fuck me. I think we're already into the final. Oh, my Lord. Just fucking clear the ball. You don't have to turn to clear it, dumbass. How is he onside? Keeper! You're actually playing out of your fucking mind, brother. That is unbelievable keeping. It's 2-0 halftime, and we are... Well, we were cruising until then. Fucking hell, that's a bit scary. Oh, she can play me over top. Good ball. No way he's going to beat me to that. No way. Fodor, are you that slow, brother? Come on. It's Jordan Pickford, bud. Deception just for us to lose it straight away. Saliba's out of position. There's a chance for it's Milan. No one's covering. Keeper, I'm in love with you, fella. Oh, my God. Keeper, please. Oh, they're back in the game. Shit defending. We couldn't clear our lines. And it's 2-1. Fuck, I'm scared. I'm shaking. I'm shivering. Nice ball. Fodor's in space. Beautiful ball from Declan Rice. It's Fodor. It's Fodor to finish the game. Fuck off. And she runs it out. Fuck off. And that's full time. Oh, we're into the final. It was dodgy second half. That was not a good performance in the second half. Keeper saved our ass at times. So we have Juventus in the final. They won 4-2 in aggregate against Malonga. After securing our spot in the Coppa Italia final, it's time to fly through these remaining Serie A games. We started off with Spezza and we got off to a good start with Fodor somehow managing to wriggle his way through and lay it off to Oshiem and received it back to smash it into the top corner. We then made it 2-0 with the most ridiculous back heel assist I've ever seen. We then could have made it 3-0, but Fodor had other ideas. But we did get our second as Fodor was through and getting fingered, but managed to get a shot away and find the back of the net. We nearly got our hat-trick, but this keeper decided to become prime Neuer. But from the resulting corner, we got a penalty, and Oshem decided to take the worst penalty possible and still score. Spezza did get a consolation goal with this header from the corner, but that was it as we cruised to three points. Oh, looky, looky. We won another player of the month. What a surprise. We're just, uh, that must be like five or six this season. Ridiculous. And for our next match, we traveled away to Genoa. And within 15 minutes, the Georgian was taken out and we got an early penalty as Oshim smashed it home. We then made it 2-0 with Oshim playing this amazing through ball as we hit it straight to the keeper, but he had an absolute shocker as we got to tap it home. We finally made it 3-0 with the Georgian intercepting the pass and Fodor laying it back to him as he smashed it in. And we ended up getting a brace as we raced through and made no mistake with this excellent finish. And that was another comfortable win. For our second to last match of the Serie A season, we hosted Monza. We should have made it 1-0, but the Monza defender made an insane tackle to keep it out. And unfortunately, Saliba got injured, which means he will be out for the Coppa Italia final. But quickly into the second half, we did take the lead with Fodor doing this amazing turn to get through one-on-one -on -one and proceed to have this awful shot, but they keep out a mirror as it hit the back of the net. And with the last embers of the game, we race through to make it 2-0 and secure the three points. Coppa Italia final time, baby. It's time to secure the domestic treble as we play Juventus. It's been a while since a live com game. Let's buddy win 7-0. Go on, play me over top. Oh, Fodor. Beautiful from Fodor. That's a bad finish. Really bad finish. Nice ball. Fodor, off he goes. Off he goes, showing his pace. Fodor steadies himself and slots it home. Napoli are unstoppable. Juventus, good bloody luck tonight. Fodor's been hit in some form. Napoli are playing bloody well. And we take the lead. Play me, play me, play me. Yes, Fodor in space. Fodor for Napoli. It's a... T oh, my God. Oh, my God. This team is too good when they want to play. We suck at the Champions League against Bas. We were shit. But everything else, Coppa Italia in the league, we have been unstoppable this season. And Fodor is on fire to win the season. What the... F Juventus are running out of ideas already. They have got no clue what to do. They've made a sub already. The gaffer's had enough. And that's half time. 2-0 to the Napoli boys. 
And it's basically game over. I'm sorry, Juventus. You've got no hope in hell. No way you've let that through, boys. It's in, apparently. Ah, uh, guys, it's not let the ball bounce in the box. What the fuck are we doing? Chiesa scores. Let's have a look here. For some reason, there's no one going to that second ball. Keeper nearly saves it. That's shocking. No way. Jesus. Guys, can we defend the box a bit better, please? Juventus with a chance. Chance for Juventus. Good tackle. Can we clear it? Well done. Well done. And that's full time. Napoli are the domestic treble winners. The Super Cup. The league. And of course, the Italian Cop Coppa Italia. Yeah, yeah, I'll get it right eventually. And I fucking missed it. I've missed trophy celebration. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. That's my bad. Now it's time for our final game of the season. Who's travel away to Roma? Nothing really to play for. Obviously, we've won the league. We're top scorer by three goals as well. Alvarez has sort of fell off a cliff and we've been on fire. Other than that, there's nothing really else to play for. Instead of just another three points and hopefully a hat trick. I mean, nice. Why did you do that, Fodor? Oh, photos are fuckwit. Nah, that pissed me off. That's a shit finish, but fucking hell. Why does he turn like that? Like, the balls are behind, dumbass. Nice ball. Photo of beautiful foot. Footwork. No, it's not a good finish on his weaker foot. That was good, though. Half time, nil all. It's supposed to be shit, to be honest. Nothing's really happened. We've been ass. Number five, go to the ball. This, not a, this performance has just been that summed up. Like, they're just not pressing the ball. They're not trying to win the ball. They're not trying to do anything. Why are we in our box? I don't know. Can't win that ball, can we? Yeah, fair enough. He's offside by a mile. Or he's not. Yeah, nah. Yeah, this performance has been ass. This has been shocking. Darwin Nunes scores. Yeah, he's just, just onside because the fucking left back's two metres behind everyone. Yeah, that was an awesome attempted at attack on the Georgian. No, nah, that was fucking excellent, mate, because he's right there, huh? Oh, Shem, play me. Oh, Shem, come on. Full time, we lose on the final day. Fucking awful performance. Really poor performance today. I don't know why there isn't a trophy celebration. I mean, the game we won the league, there was no trophy celebration. I played there all the rest of the games except one, no trophy celebration. This game makes no sense. Why are they console... We won the league! We lost a game, whoop de doo -dah. We won the league. What the fuck are we crying about here? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm expecting. That's what I was waiting for. Christian Fodor as player of the year for this Serie A season. Not a surprise. I mean, we got top scorer. I think we got maybe third assist or fourth, fourth assist. We were the best player by far in this fucking league. We barely played in the first 10-15. We were very much off the bench and we're provided the goods this season. Napoli have signed a superstar. Oh, I give a speech. No one asked. Looks bloody good, doesn't he, Christian? I really wish instead of just like, they just award it. I wish it'd come up with like, these are the four people. These are the four people who could win it, you know, so it's a bit more like interesting. Like, so you get nominated and maybe the nominations come in. You're like, in fourth place, it's da-da. Instead of just going, as soon as that cutscene happens, you know you win it. It's kind of dumb. So the team of the tournament is majority Napoli, as you would expect. Our goalkeeper, right back, centre back, Pavard of Atalanta, our left back. Obviously, the Georgian makes it, Rice makes it, Lobotica makes it. And then, obviously, we do Jimenez and Isaacson make it. Obviously, one golden boot. 29 goals in 32 appearances with an average rating of 8.9. Disgusting. And our goalkeeper won Golga tournament. Not a surprise. So this is how the final standings looked. 15-point win in the Serie A season with Inter sitting way, way, way behind. 18 goals conceded this season is ridiculous. And it's time for a celebration, baby. We didn't get to see us actually lift the trophies for the uh, Serie A and the Coppa Italia, but here we are now. Where's our Super Cup? Where's our Super Cup? I only see two trophies there. We won the domestic treble. This is bullshit. I think we've made a good impact in Napoli, I have to say. Oh, the party's intensifying. Let me photo. <laughs> He's going to be on the beers. Look at him go, the beautiful man. But our final stats for the season are ridiculous. We have 38 goals, 11 assists, and 45 appearances. So that's 49 goals and assists. Unbelievable season. Oshian started to pick up a few goals while playing on the right wing. Fair enough. We're liking that. Now, that's going to be it. I hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you did, and I'll see you boys in the next episode.